I am here today with Alexa, and we are going to talk a bit about age-appropriate makeup, but kind of building off of those basics once you enter the high school. So she's actually going to be a sophomore this year, so she's gotten pretty good at her basics. So at this point, we like to introduce them, or I do, um, to one of my face kits, which houses four shadows and two blushes. So it's super simple for them to use. They can carry it around. This is great for her moving forward through whatever time of life. So. We've actually got most of her, like the basics on her face done. I have her foundation on. I have her concealer under her eye, around her nose, and I have the light eye fix on her eyelid. So she is fully prepped for color now. So we have chosen the Be Colorful palette for her. It's just a fresh, fun, pull some pinks, pull some plums, things like that. It's just beautiful on. So how we are going to wear this is we are going to use this as our first all over color. So go ahead and close for me. This is going to sweep across her eye lid, right like that. Very simple. All the way from the lashes up to her brow. Next little color we're going to use is this really pretty, um, kind of a, it's got kind of a topaz feel to it, but it pulls some orange, some pink, things like that. And I'm going to use it with my wet and dry brush. So I'm gonna wet it really well, and then I'm going to tap it off on a towel, and then I will place it in this color right here. I'm gonna have you hold this, Alexa, for me. And I'm going to start with it down at my eyelashes, and I'm going to blend about halfway up. You just really wanna use your brush to give you a very nice, pretty, blended look. I typically go back and wet my brush again, tap it off on a towel. I'll go back into that same color and I will work off of this eye now. So, this for Alexa could be a daily eye for her. So she could simply stop here, add her mascara, a little pop of pink, some color to her, to her lip, and she's good to go. But we're gonna take it kinda to the next level a little bit more in depth. So, if you sometimes feel like you need to get a little bit more blending, you can go back to your wash brush and use it to just kinda soften and blend things together. All right, so now we're gonna move on to her eyeliner. I am going to use Quest which is a really pretty chocolate brown. Let's go ahead and close for me. I'm gonna give right above her lashes a good little line. And for her, go ahead and open for me. I wanna make sure I get those outer corners done. I'm gonna blend a little on the outer bottom corner. Right, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go back just to my wet dry brush. As you get older, I might teach you to use a defining brush to create a really defined eye, but for her, I'm gonna still keep it simple. So we're gonna go back to that wet dry brush. You'll hear me talk about it a lot. We're gonna use the very tip of it. Go ahead and close for me, and I'm gonna run this right along the eyeliner that I just did, just to kind of soften it out and I'll kind of blend up with it a little bit. We are just creating a very blended soft eye. Blend up a little bit with it. Just gives her some pretty color. Go ahead and look oh, up for me, Alexa. I'm now going to take this and I'm going to blend right along that outer corner and pull it towards the center. This creates kind of that really soft kind of smokiness coming in. Right like that, yep. Yeah. That's exactly it. I'm gonna add another little coat of mascara for her. At this age, 
You can kind of do two coats of mascara. You may want your lashes to look a little bit more fabu. So look down a little bit for me. So I like to do mascara in what I call kind of an up and down motion. So a couple of swipes up and then I sweep down on it. dry a second. You can always go back to your sponge. This is what I put her foundation on and use this to kind of clean, clean up a bit. All right. I am now going to apply some bronzer to the outer parts of her face. The key to bronzer for anybody is to keep it on the outside, never down the center of your face. We want to keep the center part of our face kind of light and bright. All right, we're going to use my nice big bronzer brush. We're going to tap it into here a bit, and I'm going to take it and just kind of dust up on her cheek. With her beautiful porcelain skin, this really gives her good color. It actually almost could be her blush. I'm going to take a little bit and dust it across her forehead, and then down here along her jawline. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of really light loose powder. When I say light, it's light in feel, but it's also light in color. Go ahead and look up for me. I'm gonna use this to set her concealer under her eye. This is a great little tip for anybody. This keeps the concealer from settling in any of your cracks. So, all right, now let's add a little bit of color to her lip because we always do lip before we finish out her cheek. I have chosen a color called Pink Shimmer. It's just a really pretty kind of lip enhancement. It gives her a little bit of shimmer though on her lip. It's a great color to just throw on and go. She can wear it with anything. little bit of a flesh liner. I'm gonna find my little flesh here. Right here. And we could take flesh and we could just kind of edge it out to give it a little bit more definition if she wanted. And just kind of blend blend in with it. cheek off with a little bit of color. So I'm going to take the two blushes that I have in here in my Be Colorful palette and you just blend them together right like that. And we are going to take this, I'm going to start right here on her cheek and just kind of blend up. With her beautiful porcelain skin, a little bit goes a long way. Then we will take the actual pop of pink and we will finish her off. So, little tap tap and a little tap right there, just to kind of enhance those cheekbones and kind of brighten up her face. And there, still simple, still quick, but just kind of beautiful, elegant, um, really kind of enhances her natural beauty. Um, I've done some younger girls recently. I teach them all the basics too, but once you get into high school, it's fun to add in a face kit and that eyeliner that just gives your eyes a little bit more definition. So book a lesson with me. Um, I do them here in the shop. I could come to you. They're fun to do group lessons, all of those kinds of things. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Send me a message or feel free to call me. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to actually teach young girls like this. So some of you may be thinking um, about senior portraits. Now is a great time to kind of actually get those booked and to also book that time with me. So I hope you enjoyed.